just stole his frisbee off the shelf but that's not what we're doing today so for those who follow us on instagram you probably already know what's going to be happening and what i'm going to be talking about today but for those who don't definitely go do it it's frankie to the moon and you're missing out on some high quality stuff like this we post yeah yeah uh, okay that's kind of gross frank kind of impressive at the same time but today this is going to be our play area and everybody knows that frankie loves his fizbo or his frisbee but we are not playing with that today Today, we're doing a different type of sport, like completely. All right, let's get one throw in, one throw in, one throw in. Nice catch. Bro. Growing up, my favorite thing to do was be in the water. And if I wasn't swimming, then I'd be on a kayak. So naturally, as I got older and got a hold of more adult money, I felt the need and the power to get myself kayaks. I didn't realize how expensive they actually are to get like actual good ones. But a few weeks ago, I decided to pull the trigger. We're in quarantine, we got nothing left to do, and I've wanted to do it for the longest time, and especially having Franco. Now's the perfect time to do it. So I made the investment. We actually keep them on these stands right here that my father built, and we keep them facing down. I know that they're supposed to be on their side, but it's just so much easier to have them like this. And when we move next, who knows where they'll go, but this is them. These kayaks are the Pungo 120s from Wilderness Systems. Now, disclaimer, if you're trying to get your dog into kayaking and you don't have kayaks yet, they're pricey. Everything is expensive. Unless you go to Canadian Tire or just your average store to pick up just your sit-on-top kayak for just recreational, then, I mean, those are fine. But if you actually want to invest in it, they get expensive. You gotta get the boat, you gotta get the whistle, the flashlight, the, all the stuff, the qu required stuff. Then you have to get the life jacket and then you have to get the paddles. And if you wanna get anything uh, at, like mediocre, like mid tier level, that's gonna cost you anywhere from like, both kayaks cost $3,000 and then the paddles cost like 260. And then the life jackets, we had some old ones, but those would cost like 120 a piece. So it adds up. And then you have to get your dog a life jacket. No, this is not like a flex me saying that, oh my God, we spent so much money. No, I'm, I'm crying on the inside. I had a lot of questions about kayaking and kayaking with your dog. So I hope that this can provide some answers. This guy just doesn't stop. I said one throw and now I'm like so deep. But I'm sorry to do this, but it's gotta go away. We have to show the people how to kayak. Look how sad he gets. Look at his face. He's like, why did we do this? You're mean. Now before we get started, number one rule is get some treats. I'm using these treats for rewards on literally every single step of the way. I want him to know I have treats. He's being good, that's a nice sit for me. Boom, reward. Now number two, it's actually behind me because we went swimming the other day. I need to put on his life jacket. This isn't because we're going anywhere today, which I probably should have mentioned that. The first step to kayaking isn't actually going in the water. It's getting your dog ready for the water so you're not putting you or your dog at harm. The life jacket that Frankie has on is actually just from like winners. My mom got it for my family dog and he just never goes swimming. So I just put it on Frankie. I'm sure it was like 20 bucks and he put his life jacket on and that's a reward. Buddy, he's almost biting off my fingers. Ow. Yeah, that's better. Now what's really, really neat, this is good. I'm gonna reward him here. Good boy. Anytime he, he sniffs the kayak, anytime he interacts with the kayak, good. I'm gonna give him a treat. Now what's really cool about these kayaks is that this actually comes off. This is gonna... Okay, he walked along the kayak. So I guess that's a reward. <laughs> now what's in here is this is a dry box and just cup holders and you can get a bunch of mounting systems to go along here. And it acts as a little table and also a spot to keep your legs from getting wet. 
but we take it off so Frankie can sit inside. The seat actually folds together, so it's good for like storing along the Jeep and everything like that. And then I just keep the paddles in here. Now you know you're probably thinking why are we taking out the paddles if we're not gonna be in the water. Your dog needs to get used to everything. Good boy, good, good boy. And so we want him to not be afraid of what this is. We want this to be familiar to him. We want these noises and everything to be familiar to your pup. Now we're doing this along the grass because when you're in the water, it's no fun and games, okay? Yes, it's fun to kayak and everything like that, but when things go wrong, things go wrong very quickly. If your dog's not wearing a life jacket, they jump out, they get snagged or they hit a rock because they think it's a lot deeper. There's so many scenarios that can happen and we need to prepare for every single one of those. So having him in his life jacket makes him comfortable and he knows that this is something familiar. This is something that I have to wear every time I'm in this kayak. This behavior right now, him calm around the kayak is very, very good behavior. And so that's something I wanna reward. Good boy. And now it is time to get in. Now I'm gonna get in first. I'm not gonna ask him to get in. I'm not gonna ask him to do anything. I'm just gonna ask him to stay here. When I'm actually setting up the kayak and getting Frankie in the kayak, I lift him in most of the times. I don't ask him to jump in because I don't necessarily want him to jump out. But in this scenario, I'm gonna get him to try and get in this kayak. Can you come on? Come on. Good boy. Come on. I place the street on the bottom and he's in. And he needs a little help. Sit. Good boy. And now we're in. Now disclaimer, we have tried this before. I have taken him out on the water because I wanted to do this before the actual video because I didn't want to have to worry about taking the camera and I wanted us to both be safe. Good boy. Nope, stay. No. You gotta stay. Good. The reason why I'm getting him to stay right now is because I don't want him thinking that he can jump out whenever he wants. Lay down. Down. Good. Good. This is amazing. This is a lot of dogs are very scared of every single noise. Now we're not done yet. Now the reason why I'm getting him to lay down in the kayak is because I want to lay down. I want to get him to be familiar with just relaxing and laying down. Sorry, there's a lot of sirens going on. I hope everyone's okay. Good boy. Okay. Now we're not done yet because I still have to introduce him to the paddle. Good boy. Sit. Good. Now, not every dog is going to make the progress that, that you're seeing in this video because he's already done this and I've been through this stage. But I'm telling you right now, I did the exact same thing. I used treats and a lot of them. Now, we're going to introduce the paddle. When you're paddling on the kayak, you have it the right way and you're doing this. This is the motion that your dog needs to get used to. It's very close to them. This is something that, that is very, very close to them. Now, he's sniffing this. I'm going to reward him, right? This is important. I also have a treat in this hand. <laughs> but as I'm doing this stroke, there's also times where I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna hit the kayak. And that would happen. I'm gonna get Frankie back in here, I'm gonna do the same process, except I'm gonna distract him with treats. Now this noise, it's not something that they're gonna know. It's not something that they're gonna be like, oh yeah, this is fine, and not jump out. And so as I'm making these noises, I'm feeding him these treats, because I'm trying to remind him that, you know, it's not all that bad. This is gonna happen. You're not gonna be making these noises when you're kayaking, but there's gonna be instances where you hit the paddle to the kayak, it makes that noise. There's gonna be instances where you hit a rock, it's gonna make a noise. So now after that little tiny training session that we did, how do you know your dog is ready to go to the water? So I would say after what Frankie just did, that he's ready to go in the water. He was able to hop in the boat, whether you hopped him in or you placed him in yourself or whatever, check. He was able to sit down, check. He was able to remain in there while the paddle hit the side. Now it's not gonna hit the side every single time, so he did pretty well on that, check. And he was able to lay down, check. So he would be ready to go. Now, not every dog is gonna be like that. Not every dog is gonna have these training sessions, and I hope you, you do these. But not every dog is gonna be able to sit there, not every dog is gonna be able to lay down, or, or uh, all of this stuff in the first try. This isn't Frankie's first try. He did it on the first try, I didn't film it, but he did. So how do you know your dog is not ready? Well, if they're scared of the thing in general, if they have no interest in it, if they're, if they're not even sniffing it, that is a sign that they're not familiar with it. Hopping in and out, obviously, you can place your dog in and place your dog out, but if immediately when you put them in, they hop right out, then they're not familiar with it. Paddle hitting the kayak, if that's something that scares them every single time, then that's something that 
they're not familiar with. Now this isn't to make your dog some picture perfect kayak dog. This is just to make them comfortable. The number one way to make your dog the picture perfect kayak dog is to continuously do it. It's repetition, it's just like anything. How do you get good at kayaking? Repetition. I know that this might have been a boring video. We didn't go out and get kayaking, but the next video is going to be that. I wanted to put this one first because obviously I want people to understand that you shouldn't just dive right into things. You shouldn't just expect your dog to do well. Some dogs do great. Some dogs very much do not. And it's not their fault for not knowing how to. It's a dog. It's your fault for not teaching them. And it's really not that hard. It takes 10 minutes out of your day and you can do this several times a week and you can get your dog familiar with the kayak by the end of the week. So what do we say? We'll go for a kayak later. Maybe tomorrow. When the, when the, in the morning. But as always, thank you guys very much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. The amount of times I made it to second base with my dog is not something I'm proud of. <laughs>